Hey, good morning guys, rise and shine. This is Beverly Holloway, also known as the Inspirational Life Guru. For those of you that may be catching this video for the first time, I am a spiritual teacher and spiritual wellness practitioner and coach on a mission to inspire as many people as I possibly can towards discovering their divine purpose. I also act as a catalyst to help get people jump started and moving in the right direction. It's also my passion to help people navigate their way through life. Now, in addition to all of that, um, I have a love for herbs. And so, Herbs are something that I incorporate into my own spiritual practice and I have had the pleasure of being able to connect with another wonderful soul that actually harvests her own herbs in the desert of Arizona where I used to live. And so um, I have never been one uh, to smoke marijuana. I, it just, I don't know, it just wasn't for me. So back in the day, uh, my friends uh, that smoked marijuana, they didn't want me to smoke because they said, Bev, you've got a natural high. So it made me quieter, which I was already kind of shy anyway. Uh, so anyway, I've just never been one to actually smoke marijuana. But yet and still, as I've evolved spiritually, um, I developed a love and a desire to know more about the earth uh, and to learn more about herbs. So I'm not an herbalist. Uh, I haven't studied that in school. Um, I was a student of the Southwestern Institute of Healing Arts in Tippy, Arizona, uh, but I was actually in the healing arts um, program uh, and to receive certification as a spiritual coach. So that's what I am. I am a spiritual coach. However, uh, and the name of my business happens to be Inspirational Life and Wellness. So I'm all about inspiring people. I'm all about helping people live a better life. And I'm all about helping people grow and evolve spiritually. Am I an expert? No. Well, why do you call yourself a guru? Well, I am a guru when it comes to inspiring people. Even in the midst of trials and situations in my own personal life, People have been inspired by my stories, inspired by certain life events that I've experienced over the course of my lifetime. So, with that being said, um, I am also interested in partnering with other people um, as well as incorporating things that um, have helped me in my own life and sharing that with other people. But number one, my desire is to help people develop strong spirits. And then the businesses, I have um, several side hustles that I do. Um, I sell jewelry. Um, it's not that I actually let's see how can I word this um, I'm not as far as that business is concerned with jewelry my mission and my goal isn't to try and sell you on jewelry now I just happen to love jewelry it's a no-brainer for me I was able to partner with a company where hey it's affordable uh, my cost hey is lovely and it works for me, but I'm using that business as a tool because I want to recruit young women that are between the ages of 18 and say 24, 25 years old that love jewelry, that love taking selfies. Some of them are single moms uh, that live at home with their parents. They're online anyway, so it makes sense. Throw on some necklace, a necklace and some earrings, hey, and hey, go to town, make some money. So that's my mission as far as that side hustle. Now, I also um, have partnered with TLC, Total Life Changes. Well, it fits. The name of my business is Inspirational What? Life and Wellness. So I was looking for quality pop products to help me in my own personal life as it relates to health. So that's why I partnered with that, with that business. And that, I am desiring to sell those products because I believe in them and I know that they work. Now, and then also to build a team to help other people change the lives of other people and to offer them the product. Not about just building and getting rich and making money. Whenever you set that as your goal, 
hey, you know, you have to work harder. But what I'm about is inspiring people and empowering people to get well. So that works for me. It was just a no-brainer. And the reason for this video today, well, I also sell makeup. Let me get that. So I also have partnered with Unique Products. Um, I love makeup, although I'm not wearing any. haven't really been wearing any makeup. Um, for some reason, I just feel like I look a little bit younger without it. But whenever I want to glam up and put my face on, right, I can purchase for my own self, build up my own inventory. It doesn't make sense for me to go to Dillard's or Macy's or whatever and pay somebody else, you know, at the Mac counter for money. I mean, for makeup. I mean, no, I just rather, hey, build my own inventory, share my products, the things that I love, kind of like Oprah does her favorite things, share my favorite things with my audience. Hey, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. So that's my reason for that, and I love it. I have a sisterhood. So many wonderful women are in this business. It is just growing just just like fire, okay? And uh, so anyway, that's that was a no-brainer for me. And the relationships that I've developed with my sponsors, shout out to Regina. Oh, my God, she's fabulous. And uh, so anyway... I have also partnered with someone in the desert of Arizona that has her business. It's fabulous. And, um, hey, I'm hustling herbs, all right? It's, per it's, it's legal. It has low levels of THC. Like I was saying, I just was never one to really, I don't know, be able to handle um, smoking marijuana that has high levels of THC. That's just hasn't been my thing. I've also had an issue with people saying the word weed. That just is really a major turnoff for me because to me and my thinking, a weed is something that you would just pull out of your yard because you want to get rid of it because it's going to spoil all the other flowers that are around. So that's what I think about when I think about weed. I know a lot of people smoke it, you know, and I'm not bashing here to bash anybody that may be a weed smoker, but it just didn't work for me. But I feel as though when it comes to herbs, when you honor them uh, as being from the divine, that the divine put these precious herbs in the earth, just like crystals and minerals and things of that nature that come from the earth, I believe that we're to honor it. And so I have just grown to really honor the earth. Like I said, I'm not a herbalist, and um, but uh, I am just absolutely in touch with Mother Earth giving honor and gratefulness that God provided these things for us. Now, whether you realize it or not, there is a great awakening that has taken place. People are waking up. For years now, people have been drawn to more natural ways of, of healthy eating. People have become vegetarians and vegans. Am I there yet? No, I'm not there yet, but I'm on my way. Um, and so people have been gravitating towards the earth eating more natural foods, having plant-based diets. If you want to know more about it, hey, I'm always going to give a shout out to Ralph Smart. And so he's got this vegan challenge that he's had going on. So I encourage you to follow him. Hey, as far as insight on what's happening now in this time that we're in, he would be a person, a wonderful person for you to follow because I've learned so much from him. He's confirmed things that were already in my heart and in my mind um, and I'm so glad that I was able to find out about him but today because I'm already been talking and running my mouth for about almost nine minutes now I wanted to just share with you one of my favorite herbs and I'm going to be doing this more regularly um, just going through the herbs that I have in my own personal stash okay and hey if you resonate with it uh, you can reach out to me. Um, you can pay by Cash App, Venmo, or I can send you a PayPal invoice if you're interested in purchasing any of the herbs. So each and every day, I'm going to come on with whatever herb that I'm smoking for that day. All right. So anyway, today, because I have been um, had a habit of smoking cigarettes, right? Now, I quit for years when I was in my 20s um, and started back, back in... Um, excuse me, back in 
I guess it was 20, I guess it was 07. And uh, when I first moved to Arizona, I started dating a smoker. So since then, off and on, I've just been really smoking up a storm. But you know, I really started loving myself um, even more so this past year because I really started asking the, the divine questions as to why I am a certain way. Why do I have these certain habits, hungers or whatever? Well, I got a revelation, right? Um, and realize that the reason why I've had this desire to smoke is because my ancestors smoked. They love tobacco. I'm Native American. So it's in my blood. It's in my DNA. So I stopped beating my head over myself over the head, you know, about having this desire for tobacco. And thank God for my friend. Shout out to Jaquel. Um, oh my God. She has a YouTube channel here. It's called Ancient Insights follow her because um, she gave me a lot of insight on something that uh, I can use as a replacement. It's more of a pure form of tobacco called, I think it's called Mapacho. I believe I'm pronouncing it right, right? So anyway, um, I plan on investing in some of that to get me away from the re regular tobacco. But what I wanted to share, I'm going to take a sip of my tea if you don't mind. Hey, grab you a cup and sit with me. Sip with me. And sit with me as well because we're going to have fun. So anyway, so this morning I am smoking um, what you call mullen leaf. I have a new pipe too that I'm going to share with you guys later. Maybe tomorrow, but right now I rolled me up a blunt. So this is not a, a natural wrapper. I've got to get some natural wrappers, but to be honest with you, I don't have time to be rolling up a blunt. Um, but anyway, I want to find some. I know there's some that are more natural that I saw on Amazon that I want to order, but what I'm using today Hold on. One moment, please, is what I found at my neighborhood store. Two of them in a pack for $99. It's the flat wraps, good times, and hell, I'm having a good time. Um, but they're very fresh is what I love about them. And um, But I want to find some more natural wraps or whatever, which I will in the future. Mm. This mullen leaf. And I'm going to show you a picture of this herb, right? Beautiful. Just looking at it blesses me, right? Mullen leaf. I got my notes here because um, I wanted to mention some key points about mullen leaf. Mullen leaf has been used in ancient cultures. Um, a lot of my ancestors, and your ancestors probably, back in times past, they used this as during their rituals, and it was also used as a way of connecting with spirits. And so it's a way, uh, for those of you that are into this, connecting with your ancestors. Now, this is something I talked about uh, in one of my videos, um, is how we are spiritual beings. Yeah, we live in this earth suit. But the bottom line is that we are spiritual beings. And it's important for us to understand who we are as spiritual beings. For example, when your loved ones pass on, they're still here. Um, believe it or not. They're just behind the veil. I strongly believe that when loved ones that have been very significant in our lives, when they finally depart this earth, it's because they have another assignment that is behind the veil to help assist you or us in our life journey, in our path. They become like spiritual guides to us that can help us. They haven't gone anywhere. The most wonderful thing that I learned from my mother's death in 2002 was the power and the presence of Almighty God and how a person can be with us. Hold on one second. Good morning. I'm doing a YouTube video. You want to say hello to my audience? Come on, because he's beautiful. Look, look, look. This is OT and I love OT. This is OT. Say hey. Hey, how's everyone today? Yeah. <laughs> I love OT and he's a genius. That's all I know. But anyway, and he's a model and all that good stuff. But anyway, love you. Okay, hon. You going to work? Not yet. I will later on. Okay, hon. Be careful, okay? 
All right. But anyway, guys, so um, you got to meet OT. So anyway, um, getting back to this herb. No, getting back to the fact that the most wonderful thing that I um, learned from my mother's death is the fact, the power of the presence of God. Now, even though she's no longer here in the physical, there's a residue of her that still exists. Not only that, but hell, she's living through me. So each and every day I look at myself, I'm like, oh my God, mom, is that you? And, but anyway, I'm a strong believer that our loved ones are still with us behind the veil. That's why I have a desire to do chaplain work because I want to help families um, let go of the thought and the perception that their loved ones are no longer present. And so that's something else that I want to do. So many things that I have desires to do. Um, I'm just wondering how I'm going to have the time, but I got my whole life ahead of me to do it. Now, getting back to this herb, mullein leaf. Mullein leaf is used, like I said, you can connect with your ancestors. It's just, it's something that they loved back in the day. They used it for rituals. Um, also, in ancient cultures, they used it to help with negative spirits, negative evil spirits. You know, I guess they somehow, I don't know all of that, um, but it they smoked it to help with that. Now, realistically, there are people that yield themselves over to evil spirits. I've experienced it in my own personal life. And at the time, I didn't have no mullein leaf to help ward off all of that. Now, I know there are other ways that you can actually um, protect yourself, okay? Now, another thing about this is it's a lung tonic. And I'm going to show you what it is in a minute. But it also acts as a lung to uh, tonic. It cleanses out your lungs. Now, I'm not making any health claims here. Um, it's all in how you honor the herb. If you're just kind of smoking it like people smoke weed, you know, because they just want to get high and drown out their daily issues, this ain't for you. You know, I don't even want to do business with people that way, that think that way, um, because they're not going to get what you and I might get out of it because we honor the earth, we honor the herbs that the universe, God, whoever God is to you has placed here in the earth. Lord knows I gotta go to the bathroom, right? Right in the middle of a video, are you kidding me? And honey, it ain't all that easy to hold it, so I gotta hurry up and get through this, right? So anyway, that's another thing that it does. It helps with soothing sore throats, uh, it's known to not making any health claims here. You have to try it for yourself. But I believe if you honor it, understanding the herb, because these things are living, right? They will produce life for us. That's just my belief. But it helps to soothe sore throats. Also helps with congestion because I've had a lot of congestion. So it just helps you get that gook and stuff out of you. Now. I don't want to answer this call. Okay, so I got a call. I forgot to turn off my notification. So, anywho, um, and so it helps with congestion. It helps calm you, and it has anti uh, What do you call it? Anti spasmodic effects to it as well. Now, to top it off. For those of you that are smokers, it can also act as an alternative to tobacco. Because I'm tired of, you know, I don't want to pay nobody for no cigarettes. Especially when they're filled with toxins, right? Nah. So, I've been using mullein leaf. And there's another herb, too, that also helps um, with, uh, as, acts as a tobacco alternative and I'll share that with you another day I had some of that before I moved here and I left everything behind so I'm gonna have to order some more of it but it's called Tulsi so anywho let me show you mullein leaf when I first got this herb I have about 10 minutes now because I'm uh, yeah about 10 minutes to go so now, when I first got this herb, mullein leaf, 
I wish I had one of those clips. You know how they used to have them back in the day? People that smoke marijuana, they get their little clips so they could smoke the roaches and stuff. Yeah, I wish I had one of those. Okay, because sometimes certain herbs I may want to smoke like this. Other ones I may want to actually put in a pipe. But I, this helps me when it's rolled, especially when I'm having an urge for cigarettes. So nevertheless, when I first got this herb, mullein leaf, right? Who would have ever thought I'd be smoking herbs on YouTube, right? On a video or anywhere for that matter. But I'm loving it. So it's giving me life. Um, and, my, and I'm all about life. I told you. The name of, I am the inspirational what? Life guru. Okay? It's all about life with me. Spiritual and physical. Now, when I first got this herb mullein leaf, right? Let me put this down. I was enamored or enthralled or captivated by this herb, right? So I'm going to show it to you. Here is the mother leaf. Look at it. Like Cardi B. Y'all know I always be quoting Cardi, Cardi B when she says, look at me. Look at me. Look how beautiful that herb is. I'm going to take it out and put some in my hand, right? Now, if you're interested in purchasing the herb, I think this one is... Four, I think it's four fifty a bag. I do have a um, limit of of twenty five dollar purchase. Okay, um, minimum. Um, if it's over a certain amount, um, the shipping is free sometimes. Now I'm going to show you this herb. I want to put more of it in my hand so you can really see how beautiful this herb is. When I first ordered this, like. I guess maybe I don't even know if it's been quite a year ago now someone told me it looks like catnip I was kind of offended because anywho I've never owned cats but I am adopting one her name is um, pumpkin oh my god and I have another one here I'm hoping OT will let me adopt his cat OT that you just met his name is June and I was born in June I really think he's supposed to be mine but anyway I'm just praying that OT will let me you know adopt him Anyhow, so how about this herb? Look at it. Look at this herb. Lord, I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but just look at it. Excuse my nails. Look at it. It's just soft. Someone said it looks like catnip. I don't care what it looks like, but it is a herb that came from the earth, baby. That's all I can say. Look at it. It's just so light and fluffy. It's beautiful. It's like, feels like cotton or something. And the fact that this herb has properties about it that can help possibly, if you honor it correctly, help you kick the habit of tobacco help you clear out all that congestion that's in you act as a lung tonic um what else did i say here help with sore throats i'm telling you it's time to go back to nature people back to the future all right it is time to go back to the wonderful things that the divine place in the earth for us to partake of I give honor to my divine master for introducing me to the power of what herbs herbs when I first got my herbs I was very protective over my herbs I was living with someone at the time that was a marijuana smoker and this brother not romantically or anything this brother i thought he was like a godson to me but then he betrayed me but we're not going to even talk about that today however he disrespected my herbs laughed talked about them and then one time was rolling me a blunt because hell you know i hadn't been rolling um and had the nerve to put some of his shit in mine and i went off i didn't appreciate that so it's giving honor to the divine for the sacredness of herbs 
that can help you in your everyday life. That's it, folks. That's what I wanted to share with you all today. If you're interested in this, I think it's $4.50 a bag. I have some other herbs as well. Um, I do ask for $25 minimum purchase from me. If you're interested in mullein leaf to help you kick the habit or whatever, everything that I've mentioned, connect with your ancestors, um, hey, again, not making any claims. I'm not a doctor or anything of that nature. It's all about and how you honor Mother Earth, okay? That brings us the beauty of these things, all right? Because that's where we're going back to, folks. I tell, I've told people, pretty soon there ain't gonna be no healthcare. There aren't gonna be any medicines, okay? That are gonna help heal you. You're gonna have to heal yourself. And I encourage you to start healing yourself through the power of herbs because that's what I'm doing medicinal herbs they come from the earth this is the what God intended from the beginning when he created the heavens and the earth everything that he created was good when did it start to go haywire man-made making up shit and us putting all of these toxins and poisons in our bodies huh think about it so um, Drop a comment below. You can always email me. Uh, Quakely. That's Native American for Beverly. It's spelled Q-U-E-Q-U-I-L-E-2020 at Gmail. Or you can message me on Instagram on my page, Inspirational Life Guru. Or you can message me on Facebook through Messenger. Look up Beverly Holloway, my personal page or my business page, Inspirational Life and Wellness. But like I said earlier, I got to go to the bathroom. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Ciao.